Well, hi everybody at LightroomKillerTips.com. This is Scott Kelby, and I am so glad to have you here for 2017. And welcome to my first tutorial of 2017. And it's, it's kind of a, it's a uncovering a feature that a lot of people don't know about or don't use, and it's a thing called survey mode. And what survey mode I think is wonderful for is when you have a bunch of images like this that are pretty similar and you're not sure which one is the best one or which one you should, you know, choose as your, the one you're going to retouch or send to the client or whatever. Survey mode is awesome for this because it helps you narrow things down. And that's what, that's how I use it for. You can use it for whatever you want, but I use it for narrowing things down. I want to show you how. You start off by selecting uh, the images. Here, I'll just select them all. These are eight images that look somewhat similar. And you press to enter survey mode, you press the letter N as in Nancy, and it displays the images on screen. Now, you could say, well, it was displaying the images on screen before, I know, but this is different. You'll see how in a moment. We are now going to play a game of which image do I hate the most? Because if you see an image that you don't like, you're going to remove it. And what you're going to do is little by little through the process of elim elimination, you're going to come up with your favorite photo by removing your least favorite photo, then your next least and next least. So when I look at these right now, my least favorite photo of what's here is this one right here. For whatever reason, I'm not too crazy about it. I'm going to just when I watch when I move my cursor over it, an X appears in the bottom right corner. I click and it removes it from screen. It does not delete it. It doesn't take it out of the collection. It doesn't do anything to the photo, but remove it from screen while we're in this mode. That's why you don't have to worry about, am I going to be able to find it later? Am I going to get it back or whatever? It's, it's no problem. I also don't like this one at the bottom, so I click the uh, X again. And what it does is it rewards me by making the images larger. So now what's left, I can see one of her eyes doesn't look like it's fully open here. That's the easy one to get rid of. I kind of like this, I kind of like that. This one's too sleepy, and you can see it made them a little bigger. Of course, this needs some cropping. I don't know what was going on there. I like the facial expression. Uh, this one, I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, let's see what. <laughs> this one, I just kind of like the sleepiness of it. Uh, I don't really like the angle and, and I don't like if the other stuff going on here in this shot. So now we're down to these last two. It's And these two, of course, are very, very similar. Uh, I think I just, I think I like this one better. I It's hard to tell because I haven't cropped it yet because it, need, it needs some cropping. Uh, well, if I wanted to keep it as is, it would be this one. So I'll just get rid of this one. Whatever's left is the winner and then you can make it a pick or flag it as a pick or whatever and now you know which one of your images is the one that you liked because when you go back to your collection well there are the images and you've now chosen the one that annoyed you the least and so uh that's what survey that's how i use survey mode that's one way you can certainly use it and i find it really really helpful when i have a bunch of images that look the same it really speeds up my process because for me it's hard to look at eight images and just pick the best one now every once in a while it just jumps out at you usually it doesn't so anyway i hope you guys found that helpful welcome to the lightroom killer tips for 2017 again so glad uh, you guys were here and thank you for all of your support and good wishes and kindness and help uh in 2016 